Hello. Um, right. Okay. So I haven't uploaded anything in a uh, past week or so. Um, had some artwork to finish for a friend's birthday, and we went camping, and then I had to recover, and here we go. So I'm a bit rusty. I'm a bit rusty. <clears throat> Right, um, we are going to be looking at this, uh, which is Europa, one of um, Jupiter's moons. Uh, it's a bit smaller than our moon. Um, okay, this uh, image was downloaded from my computer, it's lagging already from Kevin Gill on uh, Flickr. I'm not quite sure where it was originally from. It's not from the photojournal site, so it's probably something to do with Caltech, um, one of the universities, but um, I haven't looked. This is something I dug out quickly the, uh, the other day. Um, anyway, when this image comes in, let's have a look at it here. Uh, it's, it says it's, uh, we've got 800 and megabyte maybe I've done some of that I still don't understand the um, memory sizes and uh, stuff come in I get two different uh, I get conflicting um, numbers it's weird in the file it's very low when you open it up it's very high I don't quite understand that yet but anyway right this is from this end here is the uh, north and this is the south so it's actually the other way up but anyway because it came in so large I don't think of I might well have uh, already blown this one up um, but as you can see see this is something which they do you think you're getting a big file but because it covers such a vast area um, when you want to get in close it's it pixelates like this um there's not a huge amount you can do with that um what you can do which so i'm i'm ab i'm ab living now um you can use the blur tool and uh, that will condense these pixels and you can work on that way, but we're not going to do that. And I will be doing another tutorial about the resolution and start from there and a few bits and bobs that you can do. So anyway, what I had to do with this, I chopped it into four. I will be showing you how to do cropping and saving and stuff and things like that. It's all, it's all simple stuff, but what we'll be looking at is um, I've called it... Uh, uh, south south half um right side or whatever so it's from about here to about here and it is um all right well before we get started here's just a little bit of information about the um the orbiter they used and um a bit of information about um uh, Europa's surface and stuff so you can pause and because my eyesight's not very good at the moment um, pause and have a read of that um, I like the logos they have uh, but I don't like that one uh, the 20th anniversary is quite good at that one and uh, that makes sense yeah the Galileo went out in 99 so, um, and the first ones went out in the 70s, and they've got a new one which is going out in 22. Constantly, there's a, there's always stuff happening. Um, you know, there's been uh, about 150 orbiters um, throughout the solar system type sort of thing there's there's about 60 or 70 more pending waiting for um uh funding and stuff and things like that so they're looking 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 and it's all about inhabiting but um as i said before um they're a little bit late because they're already inhabited as far as i'm concerned um right 
this is the section. Um, so as you can see, I've done my my pre uh, um, uh, dodge tools and things like that. Now, something different that you notice. I've actually I've got a new I've got I've got two layers, and it's purely because there's so much happening in these in these images, and this is one fourth of the total image, and probably the most less uh, interesting even though it is amazingly interesting out of the four sections um, but I will be showing them as I do them it's just I happened to chop this one up and this was the first one I started so um, but I have got another one which I already did um, but because my technique has changed and I can catch up very quickly I thought I would do another one now I don't know if you can see on here uh, all these marks all these marks are places which I've been um, around the image just having a scout around really having a look seeing what I can find um, Just so you don't forget, because they're big, they're big images. Um, and I'm in the layer setting here. And if I click on the eyeball, it goes away. And then I have to click on the bottom one, which is the actual image, so I can do the work on it. Okay. No, no, no. So I now know when I use the tools, I can, uh, I'll be working on the photograph. And, uh, not the scribble layer so scribble layer back on and I think we should just um, oh yeah and because it's a tutorially based type sort of thing you know to um, get people into this because it's the best way to uh, well know for sure know for sure but um, for those of you out there I YouTube's brilliant, and I use this guy, Davis Media Design. There you go, GIMP, photo editing and design tutorials, and there's lots and lots of stuff in there. Um, but especially, you know, setting up your interface and 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 things like that. So, so it's very cool. Right, I haven't really thought about this one or anything, so I think we should just uh, get in there and have a look and you can see I've circled these areas now Europa it's supposed to be an icy cracked up um, you know hundreds of feet big um, they reckon there's the salt formations and stuff and things which you know some of it does actually look like that but predominantly um, it uh, looks like um, lots of uh, tunnels or tubes shall we say across the surface leading to areas which are built up um, and they, actually those built up areas most of them are, have been that are darker than anything or, or, or the, the white and the the lightness and the darkness it's been it's been cut up um, as We'll demonstrate. Oh, stopwatch, hold on. Else, I'm going to lose the lose it here. And um, run into some sort of silly time. Okie doke. Get on with it. Well, let, let's just have a let's let's just have a look in. Have a look in here. See what you think. Now, for those of you who are wanting total clarity and this, that, and the other, no, um, this image is one of the poorer ones you will get to uh, work on, or, or or just watch whatever you whatever you fancy. Um, and I will be doing I will be doing a little demo on this. I just want to demonstrate like dark areas and stuff. Um, so. I don't know if you're seeing any anything here. Um, 
But if you look at this, this triangle area here, now there is perspective on this. So we are slightly in front. Um, I'll just give you, if I just stick the scribble layer on. Now, if you were, for example, if you were sitting at a table and your head was up here and you were looking at a piece of paper over here, that's the right sort of the angle. It's maybe, maybe a bit higher. Um, but that's sort of what you're looking at, just to give you give you an idea. And remember, we're sides on. This is not. It's south this way and north this way. So anyway. Oh, there you go. Now, just let me found a new button. Not doing anything. to make it go uh, full screen. I think I need to put batteries in my keyboard. Now I need to check something just in case. Are we still recording? Yes, we are still recording. There you go. That was OBS Studio, if you're wondering. All learnt on YouTube, absolute nightmare, but there we go. All right, okay. So, like I say, pause and just study. Start seeing what you can see. Um, so. Now there's something not so prominent in um, in this piece segment of the photograph, but I've got have some pictures of um, overland um, like gas pipes or oil pipes and stuff, and they're all raised um, from the ground, um, and they they all have this um, classic sort of shadow underneath it so you can see the ground underneath the pipe on top and the shadow in front of it now from here i think the sun is coming um hold on the sun is coming from this direction right okay so now for a lot of you, I think you may might have problems adjusting to these uh, images. Um, even though I've made them much larger, it, you know it's only a certain uh, you only get to a certain point where um, uh, the the pixels won't fill in um you know they just in when you're enlarging they just interpret what what's already there it just allows you to get closer into the picture which gives you slightly more clarity when you when you pan back out of the picture so uh that's why i do a lot of panning in and out so you can sort of understand what you're looking at but um if you look at these areas here, and there's like two little bits underneath there, this pipe is actually, or this pipe here is going behind. Um, let's see if I can find. Uh, let's 
and a lot of it where the pipes go back over. I say pipes, but they're not supposed to be pipes. They're supposed to be big ice ridges and stuff. Um, you know, all pushing from all different directions, so on and so forth. Um, Like I've said before, what I tend to do is um, move around. Maybe I'll just leave these on for a bit so to help you sort of uh, see what we're looking at. Like I say, it is, is a case of pausing it and uh, remembering the uh, the perspective, the view angle, and where the sunlight is coming from. Like I say, when you work on these things, it's completely different because you see it appear in front of you. Let's um let's do some bits and see if um we can pick anything. Now there's something I noticed in this image as well. There's some very regular shapes and I think I've mentioned it in a different video. They're like triangular or diamond shaped um platforms or or they jut out of um, sort of terrace type areas and there's lots in this I'll try and um, I'll try and point them out what am I, what am I on all oh, right yeah hold on sorry I'm still not with it I'm not used to partying anymore This is why I'm always going to show the demos, because it gives time for you to uh, get used to the image, see things appearing. You know, and a lot of people say, well, this just isn't, this isn't enough proof this could be, it's so, it's so undefined. But when you go around the whole picture, and I'm aware of what is in the the whole of the picture, it's just I'll do some work on another one today, and I'll try and get that one up. But I'm just trying to trying to cover as many places as I as I can at the moment, just to say that uh, yeah, it, it's everywhere. If you've never seen one of these videos before, I should have said it at the start. Go and go and see the other ones. They're more um, easier on the eye brain, shall we say? But if you've been checking this one out as I'm doing it, you can see where things are coming in to like a central area or a built-up area. They're all, all interconnected. Maybe I'll pan out a bit. There's certain levels where things make, make more, have more clarity. Right, I'm just going to bump that right up. Let's just have a quick look in there. This looks interesting. And then what's something I'm going to point out at the moment is where there's most things going on, even though I remember the original image is very, very, very light. Um, to where I bring it down to, the same areas will come out very, very dark. 
um, those areas tend to um, hold the most compelling information, shall we say. Quite a few areas in the middle of it have a very blurred looking um, look to them. Well, they have been blurred. I know they've been blurred. I know how it works. See that pink line? It's on a completely different layer, so it's uh, it's nothing to do with it, even though it is. This is just the first pass as well. It's just a load of lines. Yeah, well, of course, yeah, it is. You have to give it time and persevere. Like I said, I use the luminosity on the dodge setting, and then we go into burn and mid tones, and then back to dodge to make things lighter, and ultimately, it'll come come in I mean this you know an image like this will take you it take you weeks weeks to do properly that is so it's why I do find it a little bit um, difficult but it is easier now before I started doing this I was thinking um, you know people are going to laugh you're just not going to be able to see this stuff. So now we look at it from a more more aerial view, um, and there's some unusual stuff going on. But let's have another look around because this there is stuff everywhere. Um, what shall I get into? Okay, I'm just going to do a bit of this and then um, I'll leave it. Up to you guys to make your evaluations. Um, but this is. Let's have a look at that. Why is that marked? <clears throat> That's the thing with these, um, there's so much in these images all over it, you completely uh, lose where things are and stuff. They, 
it's um start here again and get that at a I remember there was something I was looking on on this where there's a built up area stuff going into it and then you follow on and it goes into another built up area and so on Some other areas I notice as well with lots of tubes and stuff, and then suddenly they all dive into a black hole sort of thing. Um, now, because I haven't looked at this, I don't know if that is a hole or just a, a darkened area. It looks like a hole. I think this one I'm just going to do some stuff and move around um, because I've totally forgotten where everything is even though I've got it marked and then it's such a big map um, and the reason why I like looking in dark areas as well is if once you've been working on them For a while, and I can tell um, if if it's been um, completely blacked out or not, and it does to me look like it's been completely blacked out. But it could be down to the low quality image in the in the beginning. But um, I've seen it so many times where uh, it has a completely different makeup. You know, like as like filters blurring, um, and artworking has been done on it. You can see the stuff in here. So, just take in. The, uh, how everything is connected is what's so interesting about Europa. So I hope I haven't been speaking too quietly. Okay, I'm just going to put the um, pink back on so I can get a bit of an idea of where. Things are.
it's difficult as well. It is a very, very um, busy image. <clears throat> Added low quality um, can be very difficult to uh, for you to make out what you're looking at. If I try and uh, describe um, what lots and lots of connecting tubes, uh, other tubes running under them, over them, um, but singly and stuff like that. It's not, um, I don't know how ice and a, a smooth, this doesn't look like a smooth surface to me. Um, and I don't know how these, I mean, they're supposed to be massive, these things. Um, can interweave each other you know you'd, you'd think you'd have blocks of um, fracturing like like ice does with its different angles and stuff and things but it doesn't weave its way through um, different fracture lines well as far as I know if anyone knows any different then uh, tell me but we have to think of the scale of this as well I mean it's, uh, it's phenomenal So here you can, you, you know you're you're completely losing what's going on. Even though I can sort of see. And where these um these junctions are of sorts, most of them have been blacked out or bleached out. So imagine this is in front of this, in front of this, in front of this. I should have paid more attention before I pressed the record button really because there are some um, Very interesting uh, features in here. Just bear it all in mind. The flow. There's there's a uh, there looks to be design. There looks to be function. It has purpose. You see the the tops of these things here. Is the front area. So the idea when they edit these pictures is to make the surface like how they want to describe it. Um, by removing detail. It's as simple as that. See now this is coming down through here. sort of see that a bit more now. They're all going somewhere. There's stuff I've seen. Um, where 
They're panning around moonscapes, marscapes, etc., etc. Um, and it's great stuff, you know, more the merrier sort of thing. But I, I have so so much. Well, not on all of them, but I can't see what I'm supposed to be looking at. Is there's um, apart from coloured filters and and things and stuff. Um, I can't see what I'm supposed to be looking at. Um, so to me, this is this is quite a bad one, but I can still see and see what's going on. Very, very busy. We're not making excuses. Uh, some of these images are very hard to look at. Um, and what you've got to realise, um, as far as we know, or I know, this is a, obviously an alien landscape. Um, so it's been said me you know many a time before don't don't expect to see um stuff which you're familiar with and that's that's the angle i look at things i just look at um you know repetition of stuff um repetition of shapes you know uh things which um I don't know, basic sort of design, construction, but you have to, you have to be, you know, open-minded, you know, people go, well, oh, that's just the surface, that's what the surface looks like, yeah, but it's not how it's described, you know, if the, if Europa's surface was how we are looking at there would be way too many questions way too many well how what is all this stuff why is there um, tiers and platforms and things going in and over and uh, to and from stuff with uh, purpose shall we say That's another one of those things here. It's a triangle or a diamond shaped platform with a, a dome of some description on the top. There's no, they're all over the place. This sort of thing here. See, this was a completely blacked out area. And I brought that out and then took it back and brought it out again. And... Uh, it has a completely different makeup to the rest of the image. You see, it has almost like a mosaic look on it, disguising something. And right next to it here, there's this area here. If you can see what I'm looking at. This stuff is really difficult sometimes. Just a point of um, practice, really. This is like uh, stuff going into this. So I'll move out a bit. See, we're looking down on this. There's another central area. There's the little peak on here. Moving off. I haven't really seen it yet. I was the I was talking about the raised pipes and stuff. Um, on the the uh, left side of this, the next the next half 
or the next quarter of this uh, picture. They're very, very prominent. You can see the shadows and you can see the supports. And I couldn't believe it when I first saw it. It was so blatant. But anyway, that's uh, that'd be another vid. another area here see like a central point a little tower sticking up remember the perspective uh, angle we're looking at these at so it's not bird's eye it does change obviously it's going to change from where the original um, picture was taken from in relation to how far around the moon you are Another built up area which hasn't been finished yet. Right, where are we at? 32. Oh, God, blimey. There's just not enough time. Okay, let's put this on. I did write. Demo, demo. Do this as quick as I can. It isn't quite going exactly to uh, to plan. But I'll do this. I'm gonna leave this, and I'll get some uh, do some more stuff. But just concentrate on on this, and then I'll have to I'll have to leave it. But I'm going to try and do something else today as well, um, just to get back on it. after my little excursion. But it's difficult. This is, it's again, so, so busy. If you haven't, um, if you're new to this and you haven't seen the videos before and you're just saying, well, you can't base anything on something that looks so, the quality is so bad, have a look at the other stuff and you'll see the relationship and you'll understand more about what's going on. It's not a single ob obelisk, you know, in the, in a, you know, the, in the sea of rain sticking out. This is, and all my stuff is going to be showing the, it's the sheer density of uh, these, what I believe to be construction civilizations. Um, which I'm striving to try and pull out of these pre-edited um, surveyor uh, photographs. So you can see here. What's going on. Or more so what's going on. Yeah. 
me see. You're probably going to give me a lot of stick over this one. Maybe I should do the uh, the other side and show you the... Um, there's another area here. Check it out. It's very industrial. Oh, we're running out, running out of time. If I can show you this. is a pretty difficult um, picture to work on as well like the, the settings of the tools I'm using are so high I don't know what they've uh, what they've done to this this image can you see this coming in here there's the light bits, the very top bits, and this area is in front. It's not me tripping out, um, and it's not a one off. See? It's industrial. As I've said before, um, yep, things will be reviewed. Um, there's so much to look at. I'm just going to quickly show you. This is just but a few. If you can see this, this is just a few Interconnect, interconnecting built up areas. Um, but I just wanted to get the ball rolling on um, Europa. Um, it's rammed with, uh, it's too much. It's not just a one off anomaly, they are everywhere. Um, anyway I hope you showed you uh, enough on that one um, sorry if it's a bit raw um, we'll be um, back with you very soon I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next I might go for a, for a Mars one I haven't had a look in the files for a while so but um, thank you very much and uh, I hope this one was okay. It's difficult, so um, just bear with it. You'll get there. Um, okay, thank you very much, and um, I'll see you soon.